All right, welcome to this video. I'm Yusuke Koda in Kyoto University. The first video, I'd like to talk about the application of split learning to millimeter wave uh, wireless communications and seek for communication efficiency and privacy. This is a joint work of Professor Mehdi Benis and Jifon Park and professors in Kyoto universities here. Okay, in the first video, I'd like you to take away two things. First, it is why it is important to utilize split learning and multi-modalities in wireless uh, problems. And we consider millimeter wave rest of our prediction. And multi-modality means array image modality and RF modalities in this video. Okay. And the second, I would like to mention the optimization of multi-modal split learning. This is motivated by communication costs and privacy. All right, let's get into the first topic and uh, let's find out why this multimodal split learning is important to receive power prediction. Okay, this is a background and in case you are not familiar with millimeter wave communication, I'd like to state the problem of millimeter wave communications and that is sudden variation on RF signals caused by moving obstacles. Here's what I mean. Let's say base station uh, communicate with to user equipment via millimeter waves and pedestrian blocks this line of sight pass. In this case, the UE user equipment experiences a sudden uh, de decrease of residual power value, and this is a blockage event. Okay, and the problem is that if you look at only RF residual power signals, you cannot expect this uh, blockage event, right? So the UE may take some reactive actions against this blockage event, right? So the problem is how to this blockage event in advance of the occurrence of the blockage event. That's why we would like to use camera images because this camera image captures the uh, pedestrians regardless of the occurrence of blockage event, right? So this is a system model and the camera images sent by the, say surveillance cameras and uh, fed into convolution neural networks and recurrent neural networks and output future residual powers. And the prediction result is here. This is a 100 millisecond look ahead predictions. And this gray line represents the ground truth. And this red line represents the RF based predictions. And that does not match to the ground truth, right? But if you utilize image, you can uh, perform more accurate predictions. However, there's a two key problems we would like to focus on in this video, that is privacy and unimodal predictions. And the first one is privacy because the surveillance camera may involve some pri privacy, pri uh, privacy sensitive uh, information such as humans' trajectories. Right? And in case of this uh, surveillance cameras, uh, images are not available due to privacy concerns, you cannot predict future risk of power value, right? So we would like to devise some privacy preserving the future risk of power prediction systems. Okay, and the second is uh, prediction result relies on uh, only on image and that is unimodal prediction. Although I mentioned that the RF cell power is not informative to predict some rapid variation, RF residual power is uh, informative in case of this uh, RF signal is correlated with uh, in the long term uh, scenarios is that is low line of sight pass and line of sight pass predict, uh, conditions. Alright, this motivates us to utilize multimodal split learning. And the proposed scheme is here. And the first thing is that this is privacy preserving, right? Because camera images, uh, no, no, you don't have to uh, upload raw camera images, but instead you, you can upload forward propagation signal that is CNN feature activations. Okay, and the second thing is that you can perform multimodal prediction because this uh, upper recurrent neural network layer can combine 
the feature activations related to camera images and receive the signals. Okay, that's what proposed scheme looks like, and this is compared to unimodal prediction in the next slide. Here, this is a performance comparison in terms of uh, future RSO power prediction results, and the gra gray line represents uh, grand truth, and the uh, red line represents RF signals based prediction, and blue line represents image, and yellow line represents image plus RF, the proposal scheme. Okay, and you can find that two things. First, uh, image plus RF well match to the grand truth in the rapid variation of ratio powers uh, with the help of min, uh, image modality. And second, I would like you to focus on this uh, line of sight path conditions. And you can find that image plus RF matches to the grand truth better than the single uh, unimodal predictions. Okay, this is uh, because the RF signals in the image plus RF. And this uh, variates the uh, effectiveness of multimodal predictions, that is image uh, plus RF modalities. Alright, in the second topic, I would like to explain the communication efficiency and privacy, uh, sorry, privacy in multimodal split learning. Our key idea to solve this problem is that varying the pooling region size uh, contributes to both communication costs and privacy. Here's what I mean. Uh, this is an uh, uh, overview of our much more split learning and it has a CNN and it has average pooling here and this is a pooling region size. Yeah. And the first point is that this has this pooling region size becomes higher here and sorry this is 10 point 10 by 10 the pixel size uh, becomes smaller so that means the uh, uh, output size to be uh, uploaded is uh, smaller so that contributes to the communication cost right and the second thing is that as pooling region size becomes higher uh, it is harder to find out what where pedestrian is right so this actually contributes to the privacy here this is a result of com communication costs and test accuracy in terms of rmse according to the pooling region size this rmse is a better uh, the smaller the better okay and you can find out two things first the pooling region size of four by four average is the best accuracy okay and this indicates that the uh, you can uh, reduce this communication costs uh, for free in terms of uh, RMSC, that is, without sacrificing the uh, test accuracy. Uh, this is an important thing. And the second thing is that you can uh, enhance the communication costs by uh, enlarging the com uh, pooling region size. Uh, right, so this indicates that you should carefully uh, uh, determine this pooling region size uh, with consulting to the test accuracy in RMSE. All right, this is the results of privacy. Uh, this measured by image similarity level between the raw image and uh, CNN output image. And the x-axis represents the communication cost. And you can find out that as pooling region size becomes higher, uh, image similarity level becomes smaller, which uh, indicates higher privacy. So okay, let's take a look at a toy example of how to optimize the multi model split learning. Uh, this is our MSE uh, result and the uh, right graph shows the uh, uh, privacy level. And the uh, toy question is what's the pool optimal pooling region size with the objective of minimizing the uh, accuracy. Uh, RMSE, sorry. RMSE subject to Similarity level is smaller than 0 0.34 and communication cost is smaller than the uh, 5,000. Uh, and the solution is this 10 by 10 is yeah optimal. Okay, and this is a toy example, but this uh, the key takeaways is that the, this pooling, changing pooling visual size gives an opportunity to uh, optimize multimodal split learning in terms of uh, test performance, communication cost, and 
uh, privacy level. Okay, that's all for the first video, and I would like to move to the second topic that is multiple cameras in multi modal split learning.